reading uh, part 17 of Sergio's Home for Sergio. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> he read silently. He read 1867. He read silently in part 16. Well, censored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they appear on there in the video. You can read them silently. So you have to read yourself the poem. This is a poetry reading where you're asked to read your own poem. <laughs> it's very Buddhist. Mm -hmm. So read it yourself. Mm -hmm. Anyways, these are not censored. Mm -hmm. Morning sun loosens the hard ice. So the sound of a staff signals rescue by Jizo from the cycle of rebirth. Hmm. Loose, the morning sun loosens the hard ice, so the sound of the staff signals rescue by Jizo from the cycle of rebirth. There we go again. We're reading part 17. I didn't start on anything. We're reading uh, part 17 of the Poems of Sergio. The morning sun loosens the hard ice, so the sound of the staff signals rescue by Jesus in the cycle of rebirth. Next he says, Last year, Yoshino. I walked away, bending branches to point me to blossom, which now are everywhere, and I can go where I've never been before. I guess there's blossoms everywhere, so he must have marked a path, and then he finds that they're just everywhere anyway. Last year, Yoshino, I walked away, bending branches to point me to the blossom. But now are everywhere, and I can go where I've never been before. Hmm. Hmm. What? Yeah, we've seen this in a different translation, probably. It says, last year, Yoshino, I walked away, bending branches to point me to blossom which now are everywhere, and I can go where I've never been before. Well, he, he had Ben Francis to find a path back, probably, and now he's finding... Uh, no, he didn't have doesn't need that path. Hmm. He's unsatisfied. What kind of Buddhist is that? <laughs> What kind of Buddhist is obsessed with blossoms? Mm -hmm. No, it's actually good if you take mm -hmm. into consideration who they were blossom. Like Hindu should be satisfied for the day. Mm -hmm. Remember when the abbot, the one Sen priest, the Sen ben, ben, ben abbot was going to, he said, if I run into Sagyo, I'm going to split his head open. Because yeah. he's complaining. Uh, a kind of Buddhist, like, writes all this poetry and stuff. He says, he, all he does is write poetry. He says, it's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. <laughs> but then when Sagio shows up, he's very nice to him, and they have nice tea, and he just... Um, and they have tea and have a good time, and he becomes famous. <laughs> what do you want me to read? What's previous to this? The mo morning sun? Mm -hmm. The morning sun loosens the hard ice. 
So the sound of a staff signals rescue by Juto from the cycle of the rebirth. And Morning sun loosens the hard ice. So the sound of a staff signals rescue by Juto from the cycle of rebirth. Goodness. I read it so many times. Here he says, Tera no Tadamori sponsored a gathering of monks from Mount Toya at the place where he summoned, where he summered at the springs of 8th Avenue. It was among the monks who did a ritual service in a conjunction with the making of a Buddhist picture there. The moon was Right in hearing the croaking frogs, I composed this poem. He says, The night depends on moonlight, spreads a coolness to the edges of the pond. The bronze fronds on its surface in a frog's voice. It says, The night depends on moonlight, spreads and Oh, the night depends. Oh, God. Again, the night deepens, and moonlight spreads a coolness to the edges of the pond and fronds on its surface and a frog's voice. F-R-O-N-D-S, fronds. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> hmm. Go on. Next poem, Tightly Held by Rocks Through Winter. The ice today begins to come undone. A way seeker also is the water melting, murmuring from the moss. He's saying, tightly held by rocks through winter, the ice today begins to come undone. A way seeker also is the water, melting, murmuring from the moss. A way seeker. A seeker after truth. A way seeker. Is also like the water. Like she is like the water. We have to melt down and pass through the I rocks and previous one. The night deepens and moonlight spreads a coolness to the edges of the pond with fronds on its surface and a frog's voice. Uh -huh. Tightly held by rocks through winter, the ice today begins to come undone. A way seeker also is the water, melting, murmuring from the moss. Now he says, Yoshino Mountain, white puffs on cherry limbs are falling snow. Informing me that blossoms will be late this year. Seems um, white puffs, Yoshino Mountain, white puffs on cherry limbs are fallen snow. Informing me that blossoms will be late this year. Then he says, the first sprig just breaking into bloom. What if I would snap it off and use it as memorial for someone torn away from me? <laughs> wow. 1955 poem of Sergio. Here, here he says, the first sprig just breaking into bloom what if I would snap it off and use it as memorial for someone torn away from me? So he's going to tear away a piece of the tree, like a little branch. First sprig, 
just breaking into bloom. What if I would snap it off and use it as a memorial for someone torn away from me? Is he going to tear the tree apart? <laughs> And the thought of revenge. Well, revenge, yeah. Hmm. Reading awesome night yeah. for you. Yeah. But five words you can revenge on the blossoms that you love so much. I don't know. I don't understand it. Now, now he says, Today, Satori, such a change of mind would not exist without my lifelong habit of having my mind immersed in blossoms. Wow. Now he's attributing Satori. What's Satori? Because <laughs> his enlightenment, his, his spiritual enlightenment. Today's Satori. Such a change of mind would not exist without my lifelong habit of having my mind immersed in blossoms. Are these blossoms uh, symbolize anything? <laughs> His habit, so. Sometimes uh, style. You have to have a habit. I like. I like this one here. Nineteen fifty-six. Is you have to have a good habit and lifelong habit of. His mind immersed in blossoms is his meditation. <laughs> He's been meditating. Okay. Today, Satori. Such a change of mind would not exist without my lifelong habit of having my mind immersed in blossoms. Mm -hmm. Beautiful poem. Now he says, hmm. For many springs I've come here to meet and unite my mind with the opening blossoms. So I'm made of many recollections. He's uh, just the product of a lot of recollection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a product of all my collective thoughts. <laughs> yeah. hmm. For many springs, I've come here to meet and unite my mind with the opening blossoms. So I'm made of many recollections. Hmm. Very good. There's just a bunch of memories of flowers. But if you became like that, what would happen? If you just stare at the flowers and then stare at them more and then... Hmm. Okay, he says, just a brief stop. I said when stopping off the road into a willow shade where a bubbling stream flows by, I as has time since my brief stop began. Remember we heard this before? I remember him just saying, he said in his mind, oh, it's just going to be a brief stop. So he said, oh, just a brief stop, I said once, stepping off the road into a willow shade where a bubbling stream flows by. As has time since my brief stop began. Very interesting. Uh, the brief stop began in January. This is a, maybe a better translation. Poem 2005. Now he has 2,000 some poems and we're reaching uh, the grand finale. <laughs> mm -hmm. He stopped for this brief poem. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have to stop already. <laughs>